Ah, dang it. Hey everybody, EX7Mods here. I know it's been a while, but I'm back, and I never did get my cigarettes. <laughs> Dad joke. Um, anyway, a couple things I wanted to share with you today. My Johnny 5 build, and I am pretty passionate about robots. Might be a career someday, but I'll never have the degrees for it, unfortunately. So, in the movie, if you remember in Short Circuit 2, in the opening, they had some Johnny Five toys, and they were actually supposed to produce those and have them as a product you could buy. And of course, that never happened, so we were teased. But still a great movie, uh, definitely a big part of my childhood. So. Fast forward 30 years later, through the magic of 3D printing and good old do-it-yourself ingenuity, haha, childhood dreams do come true. So yay, I'll talk a little bit about this. Um, so whenever I started this, I knew that I wanted him to be uh, mobile. I wanted it to move, you know, not with just some facial expression features, but arms, waist. You had to totally include the laser, even though it was in the first uh, movie only. I thought about doing the toolbox, and I know technically the correct way the laser is sitting here, but I decided for um, reasons. I just wanted it further down, more out of the way. Kind of like a, a mix between both movies, I guess. So, the first thing I had to tackle was tracks. Um, the tracks I had to design myself, which uh, the model came from Dr. D. Jesus, which I purchased from him. And then uh, I also purchased the 3D Demon model. Mostly because I liked the way that the head looked, was I felt slightly more uh, to my liking. So anyway, onto the tracks. Uh, designed these through Tinkercad, super easy tool. Anyone can do it. My first go round, um, the little bit right here, the joints would uh, continuously snap. So. I ended up redesigning them for more uh, robust version and aside from that they're driven by servos and the only uh, thing I have with the continuous drive servos is whenever I'm spending way too much time playing with it the servos actually get really hot and I added heat sinks to kind of counteract that but it got so hot that it would actually melt the uh, PLA and you can see on this prototype it's slightly warped to the inside still works just have to design a better uh, version next time so onward to that I knew that I wanted to have the um, the Arduino that powers it update any code so you can still see the USB connection here and then I wanted to be able to charge it with just plugging it in not having to take the batteries out constantly though I've learned since then that it would be wiser because batteries have a tendency to catch on fire yay technology and of course the on and off switch so, after tackling the bottom, which was the first part, get it mobile, got to work my way to the top. And keep in mind, this is a, a prototype. The next version I make will be a lot cleaner. So, right here, you can see the spine of wires going up all the way to the head, to the laser, the arms. Um, just 
nothing special about them other than they're just micro servos. Um, other than that, the head does have LEDs and the eyelids actually move. I wanted to give it at least some semblance of robotic motions and expression. The only thing I kind of skimped out on, because I wasn't even sure if I could accomplish this, was the uh, the mouth LED module and talkability. So right now he's a very quiet robot, but that's okay because again, this was more or less just to see if it was even possible. Um, ran by a PS2 remote with the uh, Arduino Mega Mini. It is a mini version of the Mega, if that makes any sense. And um, <clears throat> the biggest problem I actually had is that the there is only so many uh, pulse width modulation uh, hookups, which I found a way around that in the programming. If you just have your servo do its motion and then you essentially disconnect the power, it won't have the shakes, which I don't know if, or jitters, I guess is a more popular term. So, yeah, did, did all the programming myself. That was fun. Uh, the only thing I didn't do was the programming to operate the PS2 remote, but I definitely had to hack away at it to get it to work the way I wanted to. The idea was to have the buttons as taunts or compliments or quotes, whatever you want to call them. And then uh, arms, uh, lasers, and then this ended up being a center waist motion and then waist like left and right the thing I was adamant about was using it like a tank you know with the tracks this ended up being the head start and select controls uh, eye color and expression you can see my little Nova Robotics logo so anyway Without further ado, and a lot of headache, took me about a year and a half to really complete. Let's fire him up. So, once some something else I wanted to do was give him a wake up protocol to where he kind of looked around and you know decided he was alive, but I just haven't gotten to doing that. But oh, one thing I do have to do a lot of the times is make the motions to where he will oh, that's not supposed to happen oh. sorry had to tune the servo Anyway, make the motions to where he straightens out, because as you can see in the beginning, if I turn him off and on, he's all silly-nilly. Like he's coming alive for the first time. Ha <laughs> ha Again, no pun intended. Um, anyways, so, track motion. I managed to accomplish that. Let's get him straightened out. Do the arms. And away we go. Yeah, this rubber mat's kind of grippy, but um, it's really made for more flat surfaces. He can drive on carpet, but it's awful slow. I kind of wish I would have considered the range of motions because I know on the original um, the robot that's again not right. I wonder why that keeps happening. Uh, you gotta turn that. I know the original Johnny 5 actually has a uh, range of motion inside of here but I wasn't able to accomplish that with keeping it all together but Maybe on the next build, and then 
Anyway, the laser is actually a little laser inside of it. Oh, batteries died. Oh. And I don't know how well you can see it, but I'm trying to... There we go. Try not to damage my camera. But, like I said, I know the original uh, lasers actually sit like this, but... I decided to bring it back for the reason to kind of resemble the toolbox stance from Short Circuit 2. Uh, the waist is a bigger servo and the way that works is just push down on the thumbsticks. Not not a lot of motion there but enough to uh... oh come on what the hell yeah my batteries are totally dying <laughs> Uh, hang on a second. Sorry, that's just hilarious that batteries die on me whenever I'm taking a video for the first time in several years. Ho ho ho. Alright, there we go. Alright, so waste motion. You basically push down, he goes from left to right. Center of the waste would be uh, there. Right, left and right, confused. There we go. Center that waist, and he's back in a normal stance. The arms uh, have a little rod here to kind of help with the motion, and a little bit of puppetry trickery. You can't really notice them until you actually look, but definitely gives it little bit more uh, robotic feel. The head has... oh god damn it. One, two, three? Four? I want to say three or four servos. To be honest, it kind of count. Yeah, sorry. There's one here, one here to control the eyelids, and then one here in the neck base to basically go from left to right. Or up and down. And then start and select are your expressions. So he goes from being happy to being angry. Happy, angry, happy, angry. Um, the only thing in the programming side that I struggled with is that Arduino uh, is not a very strong uh, microcontroller, um, but um, the, I mean, I made it work, but you could see the response time is not that good. Like, if you watch this, what is it, about a, almost a three second delay? Um, and it varies. Sometimes it goes quicker, sometimes slower, but if you get like carried away with it, the motions work well enough, but it's not instantaneous, which is sad. But I figure down the line I'll probably get into uh, writing a more clean code for the Arduino. The other thing is to do not drive him off the table. Oh. Anyways, there you have it. Uh, Johnny Five hand built prototype. Eventually, I will make a cleaner version, but as much time as it takes to do, it kind of on the back burner. And I'm buried in projects right now. But hopefully, I'll share some more with you guys soon. Uh, happy early new year 2022 and uh, hopefully hopefully you guys are doing well thanks for all the support especially over the last few years to the diehard fans who never really gave up on me oh thanks peace